Hi, and welcome to 3DMotive.com. My name is Stephen G. Wells, and I'm a senior 3D artist. In this particular tips and tricks tutorial, we're going to take a look at creating custom shelves in Maya. Maya is really great for allowing you to create custom shortcuts and, and tabs and everything so you can add in panels or functionalities to help make your particular workflow quicker. Uh, some other programs do some similar things, but I do like this one particular aspect of Maya is being able to create these shelves. That's what these are. This is this area here up in this right here is our shelf editor. Okay, these are the different tabs for our different shelves. Now what these tabs cover for the most part is these are default settings for a lot of creating like spheres and cubes and cylinders, etc. It, it they assume that that these are a lot of functionalities you're likely to use for polygons, so they try to create enough in there that you can find what you need. Of course, a lot of this stuff is actually found up in this area. The the men, main menu, this mesh, edit mesh, normals, selecting, assets, windows, general editors, things like that, okay? But each one of these particular tabs is its own particular, technically it is its own custom little shelf. It adds in its own little things. Again, they're, they're, you're going to find more stuff up here for each one of these, but they try to help you out by by allowing you to have a lot of choices for this sort of stuff. Again, of course, the, the, the beauty is you can add and create your own custom shelf. I've got my own custom shelf, SGW. I've been a modeler for over 20 years, so I'm kind of... I, I really like those uh, functionalities and those things that help my workflow help me model something at a pace that I'm I'm familiar with and happy with so I don't have to you know figure out where everything is like I know with Maya if you hold your spacebar key down I know you get this particular functionality uh, with this is I think the hot box I don't particularly like this never have um, I don't use it at all in fact I, I just uh, I find it rather annoying to have to get into this, you have to get in, you have to hold the spacebar, but you have to get into the the sub objects and blah uh, sub menus, I should say, for each one of these, and you have to know what to go to and blah blah blah. I I just don't like it. I don't function that way. I like something direct. I like having that the the access to be able to just you know click a button, boom, click a button, boom, and so I created my own little custom shelf. With that, I can soften edges, harden edges, as you can see. That just created all those hard edges. Let me take the the wireframe off. See that? If I soften the edges again, see it went nice and smooth. I like to be able to insert my edge loops. I'll merge vertices as I need to. I'll split polys, extrude, collapse, etc. I have my outliner on my uh, custom shelf. I have the UV editor. I have my hypershade. I can even kill the history on an object. In Maya. Now that's the one thing that's a little odd. I don't have to deal with histories in a couple of the 3D programs, but Maya has it's it's just it's not a big deal. It, so I actually create my little shortcut in this. The nice thing about it is I can add features as I need to, or add func functionalities or panels as I need to, and then I can create custom icons as I need to as well in Photoshop. Now, because as you can see. I mean, some of this obviously are the little icons that Maya will create. Everything, every functionality in Maya, every panel has its own little icon. Now, if you know what they are, great. If you're not sure, sometimes it's easier to create your own little... I actually will literally write split poly, extrude, collapse. I'm kind of old-fashioned that way. It's, it's easier for me to read it quickly and click on it. Even though I know my own shelf, it's it's much easier for me to just you know do that so I know exactly what something is. And the nice thing is, I've had some people that want this custom shelf so they can see it for themselves and use it. So it actually makes it easy for them too. Now there are a couple of them that I don't bother changing because I know what they're going to be. Like this is combined, this is split. You know, I I don't mind some of them. This is a beveling. This is vertices, edges, faces, and UVs. But again, I know my own custom shelf, and this is the easiest way for you to create your, your own custom shelf with your own little custom icons if you want. You guys can 
do images if you want this small and put them in as long as they make sense to you you know why not the easiest way to create a new custom shelf for yourself is to go to this little arrow right here this downward facing arrow click it and here you go you have your different shelf tabs that's all of these that are showing you have your shelf editor now this is where you can actually edit the items these particular items in your custom shelf let's go ahead and click on it really quickly all right so this is where you can see that for my particular custom shelf I've got soft edge well here's soft edge hard edge hard edge insert edge loop insert edge loop okay so there's my list of custom pieces this is what I use for the most part for my custom items as I'm modeling any one of these I can grab any one of these and I can move it up my list by clicking on this I can move it down the list which would technically move it left or right here it's moving it vertically but technically it's moving it left or right on your particular uh, list or I can grab a, a particular item and trash can it okay I'm not going to trash can any of these because obviously these are the things I use and as you can see by the way for this icon name you can see that for my, my icon I called it merge vertices 10.bmp you can create a BMP I think it's I believe it's 32 by 32 I believe it's 32 by 32 uh, in Photoshop and just save it as a BMP and you can then navigate to it and replace uh, the original icon for this the, the original default icon with your own thing so you know exactly what it is okay this is just the way I do it it makes it makes it easy for me it works so I keep it that way okay but you so you can again you can create your own custom items what they are in Photoshop import them in your shelf and then if you left click and hold you can save all the shelves and it will save your shelf and all the items on your shelf in that order which is what's really great you can also load a custom shelf if somebody else somebody has a custom shelf that that works for you has a lot of functionalities that you like to use as well you can load up their shelf and it become part of yours in this case we're just gonna go for creating a new shelf all right so I'm just gonna click on new shelf let's just call it demo and hit OK as you can see SDW has a whole bunch of things on it polygons has a whole bunch of different things on it end cloth has different things on it demo has nothing it has nothing because we've added nothing all right let's go ahead and look to add something I want to go ahead and go to our shading let's just do a quick wireframe on shade just so we've got that there helps to, so you guys can get the idea that this is still a model all right let's go ahead and look to some of the items in our menu that we want, might want to use like for instance again if we want to soften our edges all right let's click on soften edge what we do is we'll do a control shift and then do a left click see the icon that just appeared over here let's do a control shift and a left click on the harden edge as well now as you can see these two items it looks like three edged polygons have become a nice rounded column and a nice rounded column has become three edged polygons so that's soften that's harden if we left click hold and left click on our arrow and go to our shelf editor you can see we've got the harden soften edge and harden edge and again these are what uh, my itself is using this is the PNGs that they use I use BMPs but you can use PNGs or BMPs so again you could change this icon if you had a different one you could change it do it for something else okay now if you want to see the effect that has let's go ahead and actually turn the wireframe off just so you guys can see it so here we've got it if I click on this there we go you see all the edges now we can see all the polygons on all the edge loops if I select back on this soft and select out there we go we've smoothed it out proof positive it works okay it's very very simple if you want to be able to get to your UV editor or your hypershade let's go to for the the uh, texture UV texture editor again control shift and we're just going to left click on our texture editor so what does that look like let's grab our item and let's hit the texture editor okay now to with the texture editor it's the same controls in Maya it's left click and right mouse to zoom in and out 
that you can see that way you can see your UV texture space. All right, you want to pan around the scene, middle mouse alt. Okay, and you want to move it. You can actually pan it with the middle mouse, and then you can also pan it with the left alt as well. Because we don't have a real 3D item, we can actually rotate around this. We're looking at a flat screen. So left and middle mouse are pans. Right alt is zoom in and zoom out. Okay. So there you go. So we've got our texture editor. We can instantly get into our texture editor anytime we want. And then the list is endless. You can go from there. You can go to our window. You can add in the outliner. Control shift, left click. There's our outliner. Okay. You can go back up to edit mesh. Let's go ahead. We're just going to add a couple quick things. We're going to do extrude. Let's go ahead and do a bridge. Uh, we'll go ahead and go for duplicate face. So let's assume this is what you've got so far. You've got an extrude, you've got the bridging, etc. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to turn on, go to our shading and turn on our wireframe. Let's go ahead and hit F8 to get into our sub object. Let's go ahead and grab a face and do a quick extrude. And we're going to extrude it out. There you go. So extrude. You can grab that one. You either click it again or just hit G. G is the function to repeat last last command, okay? So I can do this, G. I can rotate around until I actually do something. It'll actually save that for me. So there you go. All right? So there's extrude. I'm going to go ahead and hit F8. Let's go back to, I'm going to left click, and let's go to our shelf editor. Okay, well, we've got two functions for our for our polys, and then we've got the extrude and bridge and duplicate face. Obviously, we're dealing with with the, the polys itself or the edges or whatnot, but that UV editor and outline are just, just kind of like right in the middle of it. I mean, look, and it's, you know, me, I'd organize it a little bit better. I'd go ahead and move the or outliner down, and I'd move the texture editor down my list. That's clicking on this little button here and then hit close. Okay, now we have the functions of the mesh itself and then we have uh, some of the controls for the outliner and the UV editor as, as its own little panels is, so we can set it out, okay? But it's just that simple. And then again, you can left click and then save all shelves and this will turn around and save this shelf and you'll always be able to then load it in wherever you need to on, on, on any computers you want. You can save it as a custom shelf, save it, share it with your friends, etc. But it's just, just that quick to, to cre create your own custom shelf in Max. It's just that, uh, I'm sorry, in Maya. It's just that simple. And it, it's great user function too, I'll tell you. I, I can't get it, I can't do enough without all of these. When I'm modeling my, my things to have my all my different shortcuts here, it gets my workflow done so fast. I can get the models done pretty quickly as a result of that because I have everything set that I need right here. It's it's just a click away and I can't I can't vouch for it enough. It's just fantastic. Anyway, uh, this has been Stephen G. Wells for 3dmotive.com and thanks for watching.